Hi, I'm Kevin Harrington, original shark from the hit TV show Shark Tank, and I'm here with Lou Elwell. Lou, yeah, from Biosoil, right? That's hey, right. Th this right. is uh, an amazing uh, uh, new uh, company, and I want to hear a lot about it, but I want to just say, we're here in Las Vegas at Freedom Fest at the Pitch Tank. So um, tell me about Biosoil and how you got, uh, got involved with, with the whole company. Well, uh, Biosoil makes farming more profitable. Okay. Uh, traditional fertilizer uses chemistry. We use biology the way Mother Nature intended. We didn't really create something, we copied it. So it's all natural, non-GMO bacteria and fungi that we concentrate and put into the soil, rebuilding the soil. Anything with a root grown in soil grows better. Typical result would be say a 20% yield increase while cutting fertilizer in half. So we dramatically affect the bottom line for farmers. Wow. Some cases double, even tripling their bottom line profits. Mm. Uh, we have a long history of uh, cultivating uh, microbes. We used to do waste by remediation, uh, restaurant grease traps and sewage systems. Okay. You may have heard of Hurricane Katrina. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was there. Okay. Well, so was our factory. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we had uh, 42 locations in 30 states and lost it overnight. Oh, wow. So when we rebuilt, we uh, went for the new product. And uh, we've been uh, selling now since 2010, 80% um, annual compounded growth rate in sales. Okay. And uh, our gross profit margin's over 80%. Nice. Um, uh, this year, we'll probably increase sales 150, 200%. Okay. And this month will likely be our first month to make a million dollar net profit. Fantastic. For the month. For the month. Wow. Um, Okay. The, uh, the biggest impediment we've had is regulatory approvals, uh, and we're about to get some major ones, China, India, Mexico. Okay. And we don't have uh, enough production capacity, so we're looking for some financing to expand our, uh, well, actually build a new factory okay. in New Zealand to handle the Asia-Pacific market. But we have uh, dozens of uh, academic uh, universities around the world, domestically, internationally, that have validated the results. Yeah. Farmer co-ops, government agencies. Uh, we've been in the media. Uh, Popular Science named us the uh, Grand Award winner in the green category. Okay. Forbes, Barron's, Inc. 500 twice. Uh, nice. Very Google good. Software X. Uh, Fantastic. So yeah. is this like this is like a fertilizer on steroids? I mean, is it? In fact, that was what uh, Barron said. Okay. Uh, organics on steroids. Uh, organics yeah. on steroids. We're, very, our products organic. Yeah. Very impressive. Although we don't really like the word steroids because yeah. that has a negative connotation. It has connotation. a little bit of a negative connotation. Right. So, so you have, because... Farmers have been using this. There's a great continuity factor here, right? Uh, well, not really. Okay. Uh, the predecessors uh, gave the industry a bad name. Okay. In fact, our original business plan cited a study that said 90% of these products simply don't work. Okay. So there's a, a lot to overcome. Our sales cycle is actually fairly lengthy. A farmer will do his non-scientific trial, whether it's two acres or 20 acres. You get a little bit more the next year. A farmer that has 5,000 acres may take three or four years to get the whole. Uh, okay. So it does take a little while for, for the proof uh, to come out, right? Well, we know it works to convince the customer. That's that what I mean, right. Yes. Okay. So, but, so th now, th these, these studies that you talk about at universities, um, th these are kind of, are these documented kind of like clinicals? Uh, can you call them that? Clinical sure. studies? Uh, some have been peer reviewed. Okay. That, uh, Good. And so, so, so what is the, the biggest thing that you could use right now in terms of giving you a, a, a better way to go into the marketplace? Well, the regulatory approvals is the, is the toughest thing. Domestically? Or you mentioned China and India. Yeah, but yeah, domestically, we're approved in 47 states. Okay. Um, our product's been used in over 40 states, but we're only approved in a dozen. Okay, because I'm dealing at a very high level in India, for example, and um, the, some of those folks are here that I'd love to introduce you to yeah. um, at the, you know, literally the prime minister level. So, um, you know, so if that's of any, any help, uh, maybe we should be talking right away, okay? Uh, our first year sales in India would be a minimum of 56 million. Okay. The Guharat Fertilizer Company is already committed to that. Okay. Uh, with an 80% margin, that, that, that does a wonders for the bottom line. Right, But yeah. we don't have the approval. Okay, so it's so, so this this is now because you have to import it into the country, or yes. can can any of it be made in in inside the country? Yeah, we're going to use the Coca Cola model. We'll make the secret syrup, the the microbes, right? And bottle uh, and then bottle it locally because yeah. that'll save on import duties and all of that. Because that way, because they have an extreme duty 
getting into into India, right? Yeah, although most most countries uh, have fairly low uh, duties for agricultural products. Okay, they want to feed the people. Right. But well, it, it, there are benefit. I mean, it, if it if you can show that it's beneficial to the to society, then you know they sometimes will just waive all the duties. Sure. And frankly, Indian politicians need us more than any other group in the world. Okay. Because they're subsidizing fertilizer. Okay. So much to the point that the farmers are using four or five times as much as they should. Right. Harming the soil, lowering their yields. Okay. But no politicians going to vote to take away the subsidy because 70% of the population are farmers. Gotcha. So they need to replace it with something like us. Now, this is not something that consumers would buy, right? Sure, sure. Uh, okay. Uh, backyard right? gardeners, lawn care. Yeah. Okay. Because okay. I'm thinking Home Depot, you know, like why isn't biosoil in a can that you can grow bigger tomatoes or something, right? Well, if you want to take us there, that's fine. But, uh, okay. Well, we uh, we stick to our core competency, which okay. is the R&D and the manufacturing. Right. We use uh, co-branded marketing partners. So their brand name and then Summa Grow Inside. Okay. So that all the marketing expense we leave to others. And we have uh, companies that specialize in various markets. One does nothing but golf courses. One does nothing but Vietnam. Okay. So just to find somebody that would go into the consumer mm. market uh, would be ideal. Okay. Because my background is, is, is direct to the consumer, sure. as seen in TV type, type products. But um, in that regard, we, we go out, we build the brand, get the, everybody seeing the, the product. Then we wholesale it to the Home Depots, the Lowe's, et cetera. And so um, I, I would like to follow up with you on that because I would imagine, uh, I look for things that have a magical transformation. Same. So here's a lawn, maybe you could do half a lawn, and here it is without biosoil, here it is with biosoil. We have some pictures that show that. In fact, um, the, um, uh, the chairman of NASCAR, we did uh, Talladega Speedway. Okay. On turf, and you can see a dramatic difference. I'll show you that tomorrow. Okay, good. But um, the, um, the big benefit to the farmer is the, the profit. But for consumers, we increase nutrient levels, we increase the taste. Gardeners always say it's the best tasting tomato I've ever had. Okay. Really? It's safe for children and pets. You know, okay. The, the fertilizer could kill a dog. Right. If they eat it. So it's uh, better for the environment. Okay. And we're actually going to sub-brand. You know, the, the product of the farmer is Summa Grow. The, what the farmer grows is Summa Grown with an N at the end. Okay. Which we think is actually going to be more valuable than organic. Ah, I, I got you. Yeah. So that could be the, the end consumer brand that, uh, that people are buying. Exactly. Summa Grown. Right. But the, my scientific side, I've got two different sides of my brain, right? So that scientific side is asking, how does it actually work? What does it do? Think of it as concentrated Mother Nature. And okay. Mother Nature had a plan. So, for example, over every acre, there's 42,000 pounds of nitrogen in the air. Okay. So there's something called nitrogen-fixing bacteria that literally extract it out of the air and put it into the soil. 50% of fertilizer is nitrogen. Why are you buying something that's available for free right above the land? Okay. So it's, it's literally that simple. Okay. The science is extremely well accepted. The real magic here is our manufacturing process that allows us to uh, make it in such high concentrations to be effective in the field. Okay. And, and I assume, you know, like, I mean, you know, I've, I've heard stories, you know, people, they seed the lawn or whatever, and then the rain comes and washes some of it out. Is, is there a way that this grabs hold quickly? And, and, and I guess in a, in a farm, it's just, it's got nowhere to go. But I'm just thinking residentially, it maybe could run off into the street or the sidewalk or something. Some of it could. I, mean, yeah. I put it before a heavy downfall, but that's not really a big issue. The reason that the fertilizer runs off is because it has an affinity for water. Okay. So it bonds to the water and it runs off. Okay. Ours goes into the soil. Right. Uh, yeah, so it's a slightly different. Gotcha. Yeah. And so, so now, Biosoil as a company is is now you know you're here at Pitch Tank and you're going to be doing some pitching to you know the big folks here uh, at Pit, you know Freedom Fest. What, what you're looking for some connections? You probably are you looking for capital also? Sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, one of the connections we're hoping to make is uh, John Mackey. Right. The Summa Grown would be great brand for Whole Foods. Right. But um, uh, we've been kind of flying under the radar. This is our public release, you know, yeah. that, uh, to try and get some publicity. Okay. Uh, but yeah, money's always welcome at the party. <laughs> and and from, from that standpoint at Whole Foods, because they, they, they do a lot of organic products mm -hmm. and things like that, so you, you think this is sort of the next generation possibly there? Organics properly defined is lack of some negatives. You right. can use these chemicals, but you can't use these chemicals. Right. Whether it's industrially grown or organically grown, we can prove that we increase the nutrients, we increase the taste, and we're better for the environment. Okay. Well, 
we're, we're running out of time here today, but, well, um, but wait, you know, but, there's more. But wait, there's more. OK, <laughs> there will be more tomorrow. So when you when you film uh, and, 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 and get a, uh, your, your pitch out, well, you gave a good pitch today. So um, I'm going to tell you, thanks for, for being with us here today. And um, um, we've got a, a, the bio soil. Stay tuned because you may be seeing this out there in the marketplace. And Lou Elwell, so fabulous to have you. And good luck, John Mackey. I hear he's a tough guy. Uh, no, 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 I'm teasing. He's a good guy. So thanks for being with us today. All right. Thank you.